show left for you sticking around with us is the owner of the Medieval Times franchise, Andrew Lloyd Webber. But coming out right now is a remarkable young man, uh, and he's here to talk about his recent feat of jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. Please welcome Brett Lundin. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> now, Brett, uh, you did it. what you did was impressive, and it would have been impressive regardless of age, but tell everybody how old you are. I'm ten. I have not yet reached shaving height. <laughs> what is shaving height? When you're tall enough to grow a beard, sir. <laughs> okay. I, I have also not reached hey. shaving height. <laughs> uh, I'll get there one day. Um, now, now, Brett, uh, I feel like the obvious question is, why did you jump What's off What's obvious? The question that is the first one I would like to ask based on your circumstances. I bet I jumped off a bridge. Yes. <laughs> you jumped off a famous bridge. You jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. I made it famous. No one knew about it. You're right. No one did. My father was Gilles Lundin. <laughs> oh, of course, Gilles Lundin. He was the head aquabatic for the Lombardi Street Water Games. <laughs> What is that? Or the... What is aquabatic and what were the Lombardi Street uh, it's water like dumpling? the stem member for water, and this was the local chapter in the Bay Area. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, how did you know What's that but not obvious? aquabatic <laughs> I don't know. Look it up. <laughs> now, so, so your father's history of, of aquabatics is what led you to want to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes. He, he, it has long been said that no man of great mass could survive the fall, but if a small boy, not yet reaching height, would do it. Scientists looked into it. Soothsayers had to go. <laughs> How is it that you know the word soothsayer? <laughs> Obvious. It's common parlance. <laughs> go ahead. So they, they looked into it. Soothsayers had to go. Yeah. So my dad packed me a lunch and said, this is a great name you'll put on the family, partially because we have 18 children and can't afford you. Please take your own walk this foggy morn down the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, some people would read what your dad did is give you lunch and then send you off to commit suicide. Uh, Others would read it as tough love, learning to become a man in the city. Now, Excellent sitcom premise. What? A sitcom. I'm playing this game again. What? When you were up there and you were about to jump off, yes. did anyone try to stop you? Did they assume you were doing it because you were trying to end your own life? No, the ladies of the Suffragette League gathered round to spare me up. Now, who were they? The ladies of the Suffragette League? Yeah, what's that? They were campaigning for women's rights. <laughs> what? Year was this? <laughs> this is end of the century. Findus Yakle as the Victorian era transcends into the Edwardian. <laughs> Let me finish my story. What's the numerical year? We didn't have numbers then. We just used eras and decades. Like, for instance, this is the next decade. So the last one. <laughs> I took off my wearing clothes to reveal my swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> and, I and I survived as sure as I stand before you now. now is there any special uh, position you have to get in to make sure you hit the water the right way? Yeah, as much like a pin as possible. <laughs> Can you show us what that looks like? What does that look like as you're flying through the air? <laughs> so be first. I, I'm still flying. Okay. It takes approximately 17 minutes to reach the wall. <laughs> you not have enough time for it. That's the same length as an English cage movie that's about to come out. Yeah. Um, so, I survived. It looks like you've reached shaving height. <laughs> <laughs> 
that were true, my friend. <laughs> I could be like my father, <laughs> who I have not found since hitting the water. What do you mean you haven't found him? Well, I swam to the shore mm -hmm. of Alcatraz, and I had to catch a dinghy back. <laughs> Ever since the world has been different. People are driving around in horseless carriages all the time. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Around the turn of the century, in San Francisco, you jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. And somewhere between the time you jumped off the bridge and the time you got out of the water, you advanced around a hundred years into the future. I think that is what's happened. I don't know, but yes? Adam, may I ask a question of this? Yes, please do. I think you're a proper little gentleman. Re refreshing to see a young man behind his knees. <laughs> ask you a question, young fellow. My ears are agog to hear what utterance will sally forth from your mouth. <laughs> now tell me quick and tell me true. <laughs> Are you a ghost? <laughs> Well, put your hands together for the red line. 